Welcome, Pisces, to Seven Cups of Spiritual Tea. This is the Beneath the Surface of the X reading for the month of May. This is something a little bit different uh, to get to the root of the problem or the situation, kind of dissect it and see what's going on. This is uh, not only just for like an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, but this is, yeah, separation. So... This will be for anybody that's been ghosted or a situationship that you were in that just kind of dwindled off and maybe you had no answers on um, what happened. Um, it's any situation that the person just is not speaking to you at the moment. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. Um, also, keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, so it can go vice versa. These re uh, This reading uh, will not resonate with everyone, so if it doesn't fit your scenario, your situation, don't try to make it fit. It just means it wasn't meant for you. Now, I was, as I was pre-shuffling and I was feeling your energy, it seems like a lot of you right now are protecting your heart. You have this uh, sense of, like, feeling like you need to be in protective mode. Just kind of like, I almost see this, like, wounded animal in a corner. And they're kind of just, like, you know, hiding a little bit from everyone emotionally. Also, I got really hot um, as I started meditating on your energy. So some of you... Um, your blood pressure might be going up or you might be feeling hot-headed, uh, more reactionary in some situations for a few. Uh, your emotions are getting the best of you. One more time. Uh, regarding your situation. Let's see how they met. It's Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How do they think about Pisces in their Okay, so let's just get into it. Um, it seems like how you guys met in this situation or relationship was, um, it was at a very slow pace. It's like you guys got to know each other, possibly became friends, and it slowly progressed over time. And it just took a while um, for your bond to kind of deepen here. Whoa. All right. So, yeah, you guys are kind of like all over the place emotionally a little bit. Um, struggling within yourself. Uh, very wounded. Um, how this person feels about you in their subconscious. So, you have the very soon card uh, with reconciliation and true love. So, it's like this person knows that uh, deep down that you guys will get back together. They do consider you like the love of their life. This is a love of a lifetime. But we'll clarify more um, as after I get these cards out. So let's see what the challenge is in the relationship. So the challenge was somebody wasn't expressing themselves. Um, they were like not emotionally in expressing things to you about um, their feelings about things and in the relationship. Time to express your love. Tell them about codependency. Yeah, it's like they didn't trust themselves enough to uh, open up fully to you. They kind of like held back, um, were dependent on themselves, uh, if that makes sense. Because I'm just hearing that they were acting more towards you, that they were caring more about their feelings of the situation. Okay, how did you guys break up? How did Pisces and their ex break up? Okay, so some of you, there might have been a vacation you guys took or some kind of promise of someone coming to see the other or someone 
like someone visiting the other person or there might have been um, a trip because I just heard canceled. So somebody promised to go with somebody to some place on a trip um, that was important to the other person, but they kind of canceled last minute too. Talking about high moon. We'll get to the bottom of that one though. Yeah, and they kind of see they were deceptive about their love for you. See, they never really opened up. Uh, this person also got, I want to say scared, but I know I want to find out. Honeymoon, you got it twice. There's two decks in this deck. But it's funny how you guys got this twice. Out of all those cards. So something was in, <clears throat> involving a situation of planning something or somebody got rejected. Uh, didn't feel like it was worth. Like they got scared. They didn't think like maybe if you came and seen them. Oh, I'm also hearing some of you haven't even met this person yet. It's somebody that you've on dated online or somebody far away that you uh, had a connection with and plans were made to go see the person or finally meet them and the person just bailed. They didn't... Wow. I'm going gonna, um, gonna to clarify all this, but I want to get the rest down and we'll see what that's about. That's interesting. Okay. How did they feel about the breakup? Um... They didn't feel really good about it, but they tried to keep, um, stay optimistic about it. They kind of tried to feel, keep, uh, they felt like there was a deep chemistry here and a strong att attraction, but they felt like, I'm hearing down in the dumps, like they really got themselves to a negative point down in the dumps, kind of like, um, indulged themselves in things. I don't know what that means, but that's what I'm hearing. They kind of uh, stayed by themselves and overindulged into some something here. They were not happy about it. Uh, let's see what they want to do now about the relationship. Yeah, so right now they want to keep an open mind. Um, there's a lot of attraction here. Um... Basically, what they want to do now is they want to see where this goes from this moment on. Like, they know in their subconscious that they want to be with you and that you guys will be together. Or they they feel that in their subconscious. That's depends on you guys, too, your side of it. But um, this person just, they realize that you guys may have had, like, differences in the past on either how you guys like meet up because getting to know each other as being how you guys met this is for like a select few so a situation here there's i'm seeing a situation here where some of you got to know each other like online or over the phone long distance and then um like a trip was promised something like of going to meet the other person it got denied it left you feeling like really upset and like so confused and they just didn't respond to any messages. They didn't message you back. Um, but they felt like you guys had differences of opinion. So it's like they almost, they got kind of scared because they weren't sure if you were going to accept them once you finally met them. That's one scenario. Because I'm also seeing that um, there's another scenario where some of you were supposed to go on a vacation together or spend time together. Um, and it you did, but it didn't pan out. There was like fighting and differences. Um, differences like of opinions and things were... But let's get into it. And let me get the last two cards and then I'll go into the clarifying so what binds you guys together spiritually? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me why deception. Okay, so what binds you guys is 
the fact that you both feel like each other is your soulmate. I'm getting a lot of soulmates here now in these readings. Deception is um, that both of you feel the same towards each other. You both are kind of like manifesting each other. You're putting your intentions out in the universe. And I just heard some of you don't even know. Some of you don't know. So some of you don't even know that you're doing this. Or that you even called this person in. But that's what's connecting you is that this person is your soulmate. And both of you are not showing each other. And what binds you is that... Um, that hotline, I mean, I call it a hotline sometimes. That soulmate hotline, it's like that invisible thread that is connecting you both to each other. It's like you guys can't see it, but in, in the 3D. But the 5D, the spiritual realm, yeah, you're totally connected. That's why you can probably feel each other's energy or feel all of a sudden sad sometimes, even though you're so happy or joking with your friends in the, in the middle of it, all of a sudden you feel sad. But let me get to what is the chance you guys are getting back together. Trust. So you got trust in for yourself. So it really is time to take control back of your life. Um, I'll clarify it more. But what I feel from this with trust. Um, so the situation will come about. But they're asking you to have faith. In this situation like with soulmates you know divine timing is at play and the universe is really really has their hand in things we all have free will but it's best to let things unfold naturally and a lot of times we don't we like to take control of the situation but right now they're just saying it's time for you to take control of your life so focusing on what you're doing right now sorry let me get into this all right, why is getting to know each other how Pisces and their partner met? Tell me about the magician. Yeah, you guys manifested each other. I knew it. Tell me about the magician. But you didn't know it. The magician. Yeah. It's like you both sat there. It's <laughs> only. only dreaming not speaking your emotions only dreaming and thinking of your what you wanted you know how much you uh what you wanted in a person how you feel how would you would love to feel is what i'm hearing uh, when being in a relationship and you know manifesting something grounded something with an opportunity to grow but you have that with the magician for how you guys met so you guys slowly Slowly got to know each other. Did they meet online? I want to see one thing for getting to know. Oh. Yeah, so some of you live did live far farther apart. Sorry, I dropped a card. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some of you had to travel or something with distance here. But I'm going to find out more when I get to the honeymoon so very soon reconciliation for how they feel yeah they know it's just going to take courage and strength to come forward and to make this love offer again like be the person emotionally that you need because um expressing your love was really the challenge here so it seems like the lack of they, they know now in their subconscious that they need to come to you like this. You know, they need to have the courage and the strength to, um, you know, be loving. Share their emotions. How do they truly feel about you? Express your love. Okay, tell me about express your love as a challenge. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, it's like you guys know that you're soulmates. Here we go again. So you guys know you're soulmates. This is a challenge with Express Your Love. But the, yeah, but it's like nobody, sorry, I keep twisting these cards. 
but it's like nobody wanted to say their piece and nobody wanted to apologize or say to the other, you know, you guys are both like, um, I hate to say this, but not being immature, but you both were holding back. Therefore, the challenge was it stopped the love offer. Things stopped progressing because neither of you knew what the other was feeling. Now's the good part. I want to get into the honeymoon card. Why is the honeymoon card here for the breakup? How they broke up. Two of two cups right on the So there was an offer. And you're here. I got the Queen of Cups. You got the Queen of Cups. So main players here, I'm seeing, just so I don't forget, I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Heavy Leo, because I have the Strength card, King of Wands. I'm also seeing Scorpio, Cancer, and you, of course, Pisces. That's pretty much it right now. Could be anyone, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Tell me about this honeymoon trip. What to do it? Also, Taurus. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo. So this was a trip. Somebody was... This was like a beginning of a cycle. So the honeymoon, the reason you guys broke up, there's something that had to do with the start of the promise to meet each other or the start of a new um, relationship. Not like that. How do I say this? This is like starting... A new cycle by finally getting to meet each other or finally going to see the other person which you probably have met before some of you not that's first like few but some of you have not met this person um, before I mean some of you have met them sorry oh well, you know have traveled to each other but this was gonna be the time where you started the cycle of you guys had conversations of starting like a family together or it was like, cause it's with judgment. It's like go time. Like there was promises of, of more of, um, marriage commitment, uh, children. Like you guys had discussed this before. This was the idea that you guys came up with, you know, to, to travel, together or this was uh oh, i just heard so some of you select few some of you um were you know taking the commitment to another level by going on this honeymoon so i'm seeing also a marriage that or uh, a potential marriage proposal something that was going to happen that fell through that's for some so why is it here twice? What? Sorry. Because somebody ended it and they went in like they went in search of what the issue was. Somebody just tell me about the Yeah, they were like fighting with themselves about a choice but what choice do they want to make yeah was this so they went in they were battling with themselves and the reason that it got cut off was they deceived you yes they do think of you as their true love yes what they were saying before were not lies they did want commitment for you with you in the future but they kind of felt like it was um, a lose-lose situation because they, yeah. 
So just like up here. So they thought that even by them stepping it up and making the next commitment, um, stepping up and heading towards a commitment of marriage or maybe taking the next step of commitment in a relationship, they felt like not even, not only maybe they might let you down, but that this would be too good to be true. So they kind of felt like it might be a lose-lose because, you know, things might change between you two once you guys actually m mold your lives together and start living that path together. If that makes sense. Because again, we have the emotion, emotions as the problem here. <sighs> You know, and I'm, <laughs> that's exactly how I'm feeling you guys are. You're like, oh, you know, hard to breathe, that kind of thing again. Almost a little extension of um, your monthly, but I'm just, I'm also feeling really hot. I don't know if somebody's blood pressure is just like through the roof or, um, let's see how they felt about the breakup. I'm a Pisces. Yeah, they were scared. They were afraid in their head, um, trying to go over things, regretful, sad, and jealous of it. I'm not jealous of it. Jealous of, sorry, I see it in my head and then I'm trying to get it out. So they felt like almost jealous because they felt like you are theirs and they never like told you about it they kind of stayed in their mind about it um <clears throat> they were clouded and they're confused on how to work this out and move forward so they felt like they kind of they regretted this they made a mistake by withdrawing some kind of offer they withdrew an offer or a trip something that you guys had planned together this had them all up in their heads and they felt like, they felt like this about it. You know, they were regretful and sad. Um, and they're just like now, they know they need to put a lot of work in this, but they are confused on which direction to go. Which way do I choose um, to come back to this person? Let me see with, what do they want to do about it now? Yeah, they just, they want to speak their truth now. They want to make, um, and they want to create something grounded with you. It's marriage, possibly, but the only problem is they don't they feel like time or luck is on their side, is what I'm hearing. They don't feel like they might be successful in this, although they feel like um, you guys will reconcile no matter what. Um, they feel like that in their subconscious, but there's like, um, what they want to do about it. They feel like they want to speak their truth and be grounded and, you know, keep up with the promises with the King of Pentacles here, keep up with the promises that they do tell you because I'm hearing that they regret the promises that I'm not following through on the promises and they're almost they're blaming themselves, but they're almost going into like a martyr mode, which is not good because they're just like staying stuck there in that mode. Like the poor me, oh, you know, I did do this, so I just don't deserve it then. But they're having to work their way through it and they will, but it's just like, it's a very, ugh. Kind of energy let me see um the binds you guys no yeah binds you guys Ooh. yeah so soulmate so what binds you guys is your your intellect as well like when we're getting beneath the surface of this yes you guys are soulmates you both are deceiving each other and not acknowledging the fact that you guys are soulmates, but diving deep or going beneath the surface on that, um, you guys intellectually are compatible. Like you guys, 
like the connection is so strong with your mind and the conversations that you guys do have. Um, not emotionally though, just intellectually, intellectual conversations. Like there's something like the intelligence of you both, um, you guys both admire and you really like about each other. Okay, so we'll the chance of them getting back together. What is the chance? Ten of seven of swords. So this person, this is interesting. Oh shoot, I dropped it. Sorry. Um, what's interesting about this is this person is trying to strategize. Yeah. Okay. So, will you guys get back together? Um, it is decidedly so. No, just kidding. That's if you guys choose to accept this person back. Um, this person will be sneaky. But the thing is, what I'm feeling with this is this is more strategy. He's not going, this person's not going to s deceive you, he or she. Um, or cross watchers, but this person will not just deceive you. They're going to strategize on how to move forward with you and, uh, do it in the manner where they're kind of hanging in the background, but it's like, I see somebody even, um, getting flowers at work here. Some kind of little strategy to kind of weasel their way back in, if that makes sense. It's kind of bad, but not in a bad way, though. I mean, I don't mean it's bad. I mean, like, the way I'm saying it is bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm just, because I'm seeing, like, a weasel. It's like, you know, he's digging little holes and he's trying to get back. Um, but it's something affecting... Your work to tell me the three of pentacles. What are they going to do? Got the sun. We already know that. And justice. Yeah, they're just going to make it right. What exact strategy action will they take? That's what I want to know. Aha. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, so this person, yeah, they're working on um, building something more solid. Um, offering something up that is like the start of something solid. So this is like the beginnings, the thinking of it, creating it, right? Um, learning how, what to do, how to come forward, even maybe possibly learning how to speak emotionally to you. But it's offering something up, something tangible, right? So this person is going to strategize and bring you something really small. Because with this, like, and I kept seeing, like, somebody get flowers at work or something. Something small. And that would be this. Something very small. Nothing big. But it, just by sending flowers, it creates the start. Like, the seed, which is the Page of Pentacles. The seed of something um, so that it can grow into something. Tell me about the page pentacles. Sorry, I'm going on too long, but I don't know why I'm deeping. Yeah. So see, it's, he's going to, it's going to be something like this, like something small or, um, you know, sending coffee to your office or sending something to your home that maybe they know that you love just like, or a letter saying, I'm sorry, I care about you. Something tangible, but it's going to progress to this. Okay. We it starts off as the page and progresses to the night. 
but you know the night and then it'll it'll start growing into something it's something really small it's just going to start you know growing into something bigger and kind of weasel their way in i hate to say that but it's definitely strategy this person's like trying to um learn right now their competition if that makes sense <laughs> right now they're hanging in there and they're learning like they're trying to learn um you guys and actually understand their emotions so that they know how to come towards you and what they could probably do to you know get on that chariot <laughs> and you know they're strategizing like ah oh, I'm running I'm getting on it I'm getting on it I got it I got the idea I got the strategy come on come on there's something here they're trying to figure out see they've planned it so they have this is how it's going because I just clarified it. So to start off like this, because, and I asked why for the night, why is it turning into something? Why are they strategizing to do this? They've made plans. They already know what they want. They're waiting for this relationship to bloom and to blossom back into something. They know they made a mistake. They screwed up big time, but there's something here having to do with a trip or something that um, was really important to your relationship for a commitment factor. There's something, and you all will know your own situation and what it uh, dealt with. But just hang in there. If you want this person back, um, you know, this person is coming back. Um, probably not in the way that you expect. You might all of a sudden receive something or out of the blue <laughs> might get like, you know, call at your work maybe even, which I'm hearing call, but like at a time that you're not there. So they leave a message at your desk, something weird. It's strategy. It's all about strategy. They're going to try to weasel their way in. So if you do want this person back, the chance is there. I mean, this is a soulmate and if you don't if you've moved on then just take this as you know good information where you could close that chapter and um, start fresh with a new cycle on your own and um, attracting someone else in your life new love um, but thank you so much for joining me and um, I want to thank you guys as well for all the love and support that you've given me uh, with my channel. I cannot thank you enough. You guys are just amazing and beautiful people. Um, I will see you next month, June, for your monthlies. You guys have a great day. And please remember that um, we are all connected in this universe. So let's be kind to each other, okay? Love you guys. Bye.